you're taking a little break from the Boxing Day test or maybe you're just relaxing, we hope you're enjoying the Armour All Summer Grill. Thank you for joining us as we talk all things motor racing during the break. Greg Rust and Paul Morris with you. And we wanted to focus on Daniel Ricciardo for a moment because the 2018 season had highs and real lows for him. Let's start with Monaco. Was there a better day for Australian motorsport with Dan winning there, and then, of course, Will Power a few hours later taking it out at the brickyard. I don't think many people got much sleep that night, did they? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it was a, a monumental achievement for him to, you know, do what, you know, Sir Jack had done and, and Mark Webber at, at a place like that. And he had to work for it too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And, and Daniel's a hard-working guy. You know, he's going to get to the front when he can and given the tools to do so, which probably leads you into the next question. Well, it does, really, because the back end of the season... I, just could not get over the volume of issues for him vehicle wise. I mean, he said, he said at one point, um, some in the media were talking about, would he even complete the season? He's not about that life. He was about, you know, doing the right thing, seeing it through with Red Bull. But the volume of retirements was ridiculous, wasn't it? Yeah, it's obviously they just served him up a shit sandwich and want to see him out the door. It's pretty obvious. That's a shame that, that, that you know, uh, that that happened because he'd done so much with them as an organisation, if you if you feel that way, but for such a long time through junior formula and so on. Yeah, they don't look at it that way. The relationships come to an end. They've got to, you know, they're developing stuff, working on things for next year. Just park him aside, get him out the door, and get the next bloke in. That's just that's that's what it is. So he's then decided to go to Renault for season 2019 and 20. Lots of people struggle to know what. You know the right was that the right call? Um, is he he's buying? The only call really. Okay. It's it's the only move he's, he's got. He can't stay where he is. There's obviously a, a huge bias towards Verstappen. That's you know Brian, Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder can see that. He's got to get out. So he might as well put some decent wedge in his pocket, get paid some proper money, go to a team. They've done it before. Can he make the difference? We're going to find out. Well, Renault, I mean, have a, a, over time, over the you know a long period in Formula One, they have. I mean, is it, can you see potentially that he may do what Lewis Hamilton did with Mercedes? Is that, is that a possibility? I think so, it is. It definitely is. He could be the catalyst just to turn that team around. And You wouldn't go there without seeing something like that in the pipeline, would you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't make that decision. I, it may be the only call he could have, but you would hope that there's that. It's a better one than he's got. He can't stay at Red Bull and, and yeah. suck off the hind kit. You, know? you can't be there. He's got to go and do something else. Is he the world champion? I mean, uh, without sounding too patriotic, everyone talks like that he's got that, that right level of talent. Could we, could we see him clinch that title one day, do you think? Yeah, but it's about getting all the, everything else in line. In, in line. And uh, so he either does it there, makes it happen, or he just buys a bit of time and hopefully gets a seat with a better team when the contract runs out. But I, I think with his work ethic and his attitude, and who he is, he could just be the guy to turn that team around and that's what he's there for. And if not, as you quite rightly point out, he's bought a ticket to the next round of, uh, of driver movement, which is at the end of, uh, of 2020. We wish him well there. Sure. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up this edition of the Armour All Summer Grill and in between time you can keep up to date with all the very latest on the Speed Cafe social channels and at speedcafe.com. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate summer essentials pack. The kit comprises a range of products to keep your car looking new, including the latest Armour All wash and wax, two-in-one wash mitt, a drying towel, protectant, cleaning wipes, glass cleaner and an air freshener. Watch the Armour All Summer Grill episodes on speedcafe.com to find out how to enter. Armour All now make a great range of wipes with a smart seal lid. So this particular line of products here, if you pop the lid off, the first thing you'll notice is that they're sealed. So everything inside there, those wipes stay nice and moist. However, don't you hate when you leave the lid off, it happens to us all, and you go to use them next time and they've dried out. Well, no longer with this smart seal lid. So what happens now, after you've used your wipes, you can simply turn it around like that seals it up and they'll be moist next time you want to use them. Wipes are a convenient way to clean or touch up your car and a great initiative by Armour All.